the neck and shoot one of these guns while I'm doing it. I'm going to use this one to replace the Springfield Army for right now. So, let me put this up on the side. I'm going to finish shooting both of those. Like I said, I'm testing out the microphone to see if we can pick up any background noise. So, yeah, I heard that. It's loud as hell. Yeah, I just finished. I was just waiting for the cell phone to charge up because when the car gets hot, charger shuts off the cell phone charger shuts off so. charger right up here. this gun right here it takes so long to dry out it takes so so long it spent almost 30 minutes to an hour on one co2 cartridge I got the camera on this side of the cell phone, so when I'm holding the gun, you can see every inch of the shots going forward. You probably can see where it's hitting the target, but I can't see it that way. Because my view chain, my view is like right behind the gun, and you're seeing it from the side, so you can see the side of the gun better. Loud. I don't know if you can hear it. You hear the echo back in the trees, man. I think that sun must have messed it up. That's the reason why the heat must have concentrated. So them guns are fragile, like I said. You know, sun must have messed it up. So that frame probably cannot bend back into place. So you're gonna have to replace the whole gun again. So I'm have, you see, that I'm gonna get a th second refor. Excuse me, a second refund or a third gun? It's either a second refund or a third gun. Still got a lot in there. I thought it was done. I thought it was finished. Sun going down. I mean, it's getting soft, so the heat shouldn't mess with it. That's the reason why I was putting it back in the car because the sun is too bright. See, the guns are made out of half plastic and half metal. That's why it's probably the reason why the Springfield armor got messed up. The sun was too hot.
to smash it. I don't know if I have the energy to stay out here that long. <coughs> I've been standing up on my feet since the last two hours. I've been doing three to four hours. Got three of them in there. I think that star is pretty strong, man. I don't feel no shakes. I don't feel nothing going on. I had this gun for like three weeks, four weeks. Most of these guns, they kind of rattle and get shaky when, when you use them excessively within, within two weeks. Boomerang's kind of dry out a little bit too fast. You know, it only lasts on what, four, I guess four or five magazines. Four and a half or something. I still like that gun pretty much. It still, it still does its job. Oh man. I got this microphone set on cell phone. It's got the cell phone icon and the camera icon. I tried the camera icon on the first video. Now I got it on the cell phone icon. I'm trying to find out which one of those um, options I set it on to get background noise. You see, I can't, I can't really figure it out. So I'm trying to get the echo and noise in the background, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm trying the second option with this microphone. And I got it plugged into my cell phone right now. Magazines are pretty easy to load. So far I haven't had any problems with these or the pistol, none of them. Both of these did pretty good. This one it lasted up till now. It hasn't been to the shop. It hasn't been giving me any problems except it does confuse me when the blowback doesn't work. It shoots raw and powerful, no different. It might shoot a little better without the blowback, the slider going backwards, but you can set it to, I guess you can set it to however you want it. You can cock it and let it use the blowback or don't cock it and it won't use the blowback. So far, it's been a little rattly, and you know, the magazine's kind of sensitive. If you touch it too hard, it will pop out on you. But other than that, this gun lasted pretty long. That other one. I could. I'm not too sure. I forgot. Now, this is a star gun. Let's see if I did it. No, no, I didn't. It was a Woomrex that I finished. That's why. Yeah, now it's done. Now, I could come back to this. Probably my number one pistol right here. Shots keep ricocheting and coming back and hitting. It's getting soft, you can tell.
I think that Umrex is starting to wear down on CO2 power too, a little bit too fast. Maybe I'm not using it the way I used to. I don't know. The gun's been adjusting. You come back the next day, it shoots pretty good, and then it shoots kind of poor, and then comes back again. Let's see what happens. Sure, so I think it's. I think the CO2 again. Alright, so far, the sun's not out no more. I took the CO2 cartridge out of the Springfield Army. I'm gonna send it to. Send that one also to Air Venture. I might get a refund or I might not. I might get a replacement. Let's get a sub. It's getting soft, you can tell. It's getting heavy and sluggish. Alright. Let's start over fresh on that one. I kind of left that one sit. This one's sitting a little bit too long. I've been using this one kind of excessive now. So I might as well warm that up and see where it's at. I don't want to use it too much because I'm scared something might happen to it. Should be able to wheel almost all day. But I got the cell phone charged up to 93%, so it should last another three hours or so. Whoa. Yeah, you see? Fresh power. <laughs> Just two shots would knock it off. Wait, I forgot. Yeah, did I? No, this, let me load this one up first. I'm gonna go to that one is already loaded and fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that in a while. Let me finish with these. Let me finish using both of these guns first. I'm gonna go to that power line. Keep it in shape. It's been sitting around too long.
the target real quick. Keep wasting your time so much. I'm gonna save this one for a while. I'm gonna wait. Put this on safety. So I don't want no accidents. And then I'll finish this one. Just letting you know which one I'm I'm using. Missed, hit it, penetrated, missed, hit it, knocked it over. The guns are doing pretty damn good. Umar's kind of burned out a little bit too soon after a while, but I think it's almost the same level as a Springfield Army. A Springfield Army was a little bit vicious than the Umar's. It almost did better than a star. Only for a short while, and then after that, it's going to bring itself down to the same level and then less. As of right now, I can't make up my mind if I want to replace that Springfield, that second Springfield Armory or get a refund. I got a refund for the first one. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a chance for the third one, I guess. I kind of like that gun a lot. I think I'm going to go by my feelings. I'll get another one. Damn. The hell's going on here? Whoa. You have an idea what this thing feels like? Oh, missed. Man. I hope I don't get in trouble for making all this noise. This thing is like... I don't know, boy. <laughs> like a damn cannon. Nah, the gun is shakes. It shakes so hard. And it makes all that noise in the background. I guess if law enforcement come back here the fourth time, as long as they see this microphone and the cell phone, they'll probably know it's not a real gun anyways, if they catch me holding it like that. But if they don't see me holding no cell phone in hand, I guess I'm in trouble. But, nah, they cited me back here three times. They said it's all good. Just that the third one said that I'm not supposed to be out so late. And then I had to kind of, you know, fight against them. And then I did win. So I managed to keep shooting at night, and then I said, all right, I guess I'll just stop coming out here for like four days until Sunday, and now it's Sunday. So, so far, they haven't came out once. So I'm, I'm all right. It's good. I probably wasn't holding that gun, I mean the camera the whole time. But anyways. hitting it it's not hitting it as strong like it's supposed to but it's, it's not it's knocking it off ah it popped open when it's on a fresh seal too it's scary as hell man <laughs> i don't know which one is worse it's either the 40 caliber the nine or it's one of these or this umrak co2 pistol the springfield armory or there's another one, the Crossman Night Stalker. All four of them air pistols are the scariest, the most vicious, compared to a regular firearm. But this and this are very mild and soft. 
they don't they don't give that they don't give any real recoil they don't sound loud at all they're very quiet but this one and the other two guns the springfield army and the night stalker you're vicious raw powerful it's not just the way it feels it shoots stronger than it, it kind of shoots stronger than those sometimes you know what i'm saying they say it's 400 feet per second and the other one is 420 and then you have another one that's 400 which is this one and they shoot so strong This is my second Sunday. I was out here some night ago, some four days, five days ago. But since law enforcement, the last police officer said, I'm not supposed to be out here this late at night. And then the other, I told him that the other two said it's okay. The other two said it's okay, but this last one was kind of different. So I said, um, I got to finish doing this because I ordered these things from Amazon. And then he said, well, you know, you can't be out here this day and night. I said, well, you know, I don't want those people getting nervous thinking that I'm shooting a real gun. And he said, all right, just hurry up and do what you got to do and get it done. So I said, all right, maybe I'll be better off coming out on a Sunday then. So all the way up to now, since 3.30 3 or 3 o'clock, I had this place to myself. I'll be better off coming out in the daytime anyways. I can't stand coming out at night because I can't, I just don't like them trees back there. And I can't tell what's hiding back there. I can't see what's back there. I do have the tactical lights and they work pretty good, but I still can't tell what's hiding back there watching me. It's better off I come out in the daytime. microphone looks kind of comfortable and cute it's just that it's probably not all that i spent 12 dollars on this thing i don't know they said you can use it for android cell phones and capture the noise in the background i only noticed it a little bit i noticed it a little bit but not that much i'm not hearing the real sound of these guns like i'm supposed to but I did hear some kind of, some echo on the cell phone when I tested it out. So I guess the less money you spend, the less, no, the less value or the less money you spend, you get cheap quality. So I guess that's what it is. Missed it. Hit it. Hit it. Knock. Getting ready to come off. Hit it. Hit it, it's coming off. Missed it. Knocked it off. I might be getting tired of doing this. I probably don't feel like coming out here. I'm gonna have to torture myself and stay out here because this is the only day of the week. This is the only day of the week I get a chance like this. Coming out here, like, 5 30 or 6 o'clock p.m i only have one hour to spare and then, it's, then it gets dark yeah. and i don't have enough space to do all of this so i'm forcing myself to stay out here until probably i don't know five o'clock six i don't know hopefully it's six the latest i think i'm gonna stay with the star more more frequent i'm gonna tell you what since I like this gun so much, I try not to go near it that many times. The Night Stalker went to the shop. It went back to Crossman. They said that they might replace it or repair it. It's not that bad. It, it was working when I sent it away. It does work. It shoots. But the trigger is starting to feel funny. And the slider doesn't pop open. 
So that doesn't tell you when it's empty, and sometimes the BBs get stuck, you know. So the gun still shoots pretty good. It shoots vicious, but I want to refresh it before it gets worse. Since I like that gun so much, I send it back to Crossman to get it refreshed. But since I like this one so much, I'm thinking I don't want to use this one too many times. I want to keep it. I want to keep it in perfect shape. See one thing you gotta do. Since it is kind of fresh, it's what I this is what I plan on doing. Hold up a second. It's like whenever I shoot. Alright, what I used to do, I used to squeeze and then hold it and then pull, squeeze, then pull, squeeze, then fire. Now I'm starting to get an idea. I'm gonna do I'm gonna start shooting like this. Pull, let go. Rest the spring and the mechanical parts inside it, and then start over again and let go. You know what I'm saying? This way, I don't brutalize the gun so much. Because I just lost, I just lost me another gun an hour ago. And you all saw that. That's the Springfield Army. It sort of exploded on me, but it didn't fall to pieces or nothing. Right, I'm going to start shooting these guns a certain way. Because I don't want them to quit on me. I already lost a couple of guns, man. It's not worth it. Two more just went out. The first one went in the trash. The second one went back to the manufacturer and I got a refund for it. I'm getting a refund. The third one, not only looks and feels like a piece of crap, it had a lot of bad reviews, and I decided, not only that, they changed the design on it, so it's poor and ugly as hell. So I sent that one, that's three. And now, this Springfield Army, it, it sort of exploded on me, because uh, maybe the CO2 was too strong, or the heat must have got to it from the sun. So the side... The side of the body popped open. The frame, the side of the frame right here, it popped open sideways like that. And that thing, whatever you call it, was sticking out. I'll probably show it to you right about now. Here it is. This is a Springfield Army. Take a close look. You see the side of the frame? It's not supposed to be that way. You see the other side? It's in perfect shape. See? I reset the gun three times so far. Maybe I could do it right now. But when it goes like that, you don't want to take no chance with this. So if you go walking through the woods and you want to use this thing as a self-defense weapon, this would not be an option. It could still work right now. All I have to do is reset it and it will knock that jug down within one or two shots like it just did. But the thing is, this is my third time running into this. This, this is the third time it exploded on me. See, look at this. It's stuck. Take a close look. From back to front. I'm going to send this back to Air Venturi. Oops. Wait a minute. Oh, yes, yeah, right. Well, not only that. This, this hasn't been working. It's stuck. So, it looks like they got a lot of bad guns. They're getting a bad name for this. But the damn thing shoots so powerful and so good. It's just not well put together. It's a too, it's a pity it went to waste, but I would say you might say I'm pretty stupid. I don't blame you. 
feel kind of stupid myself. I'm thinking maybe I'll get a refresh. I kind of like that gun. It's like maybe I ran into a bad apple. Yeah, different bad one. So I don't know. I know y'all ain't going to get bored with this video right here because I just showed you some evidence. All right. I forgot where I was. Hey, it's not the CO2 pistols getting defect. Y'all better find out that them regular firearms like the 9mm Luger, the high point 9mm Luger from um, Mansfield, Ohio, probably the 380. And what else? You buy anything that's under $200, you will not be able to use that gun in self defense. I could tell you that. Because one of the, one of the, what do you call it? Should I say gunsmith? One of those people told me that the firing pins break on those high point pistols. I'm talking about the 9mm handgun. The one that shoots uh, Winchester bullets with gunpowder in it. Do not touch that gun at all if you can. When you go using that thing in self-defense and you're thinking it's going to work, you're going to be sorry. That thing gave me some problems. I did manage to fix it, but it's not worth it. It's not just CO2 pistols going bad, man. Regular firearms get defective that many times. And half of the times they do explode on you and they cut your hand up. Parts of it will explode because it's 100% it's, it's deadly ordinance. It's not shooting BBs. It's not it's not CO2 powered. It's gunpowder bullets. It's extra high velocity, so the gun explodes and parts of it get stuck in your finger and tears tear some skin off. <laughs> I would say you'd be better off being scared of buying a firearm that's kind of cheap. You better buy something at least close to $200. Even $250 might be worth it, but I would stick to $300 and up. And don't buy anything cheap because those pawn shop um, dealers, they get mad at me for trying to sell a gun like that. All right, hold on a second. I forgot. I keep forgetting. I should hold it higher up. Heard that one. You have no idea what this gun sounds like. I'm thinking the whole planet could hear what I'm what I'm doing back here. It's too bad. I bought such a cheap microphone. I don't think I could get the background noise back here. Yeah, it did punch a hole in there. I could tell that second or the third one was so vicious it punched a hole right through it. Uh, let me switch back to this thing. I forgot. I think yeah, it's empty. I don't want to wear that gun out. I want to stay away from it for a while. It's in pretty good shape, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want it to go out. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. I heard something fall back there. Oh, one of them CO2 cartridges went in it. Hold up a second. Things fell down there. Oh boy. Right. I'm not going to be out here too long because I only get a chance to come out here at least once a week. So I'm trying to 
make the best of this. Stuck with the silver ones. I do have the black. What do you call it? Uh, the black diamonds. I got, I got two of them I haven't used yet. But I'm not ready yet. I've been stuck using the Red Riders. But I didn't just get these from Amazon. I bought 6,000 steel ones. Yeah, this is what I had, 4,000, and now it's burned out since the last one or two months, and now I got these from Walmart. I bought this from Walmart in Thomasville, so I got 6,000 right here. Yeah, it's not used yet. I burned these out about probably a month ago. So, it just crossed my mind. <laughs> I guess if it's 4,000 shots in there and how much? 350, let me see. One, 1,050. So, it looks like you could estimate... I guess I've been using these guns more than 500 times. Let me double check. Five, five, five. You could say I probably did use one or a couple of, a couple of these guns like close to a thousand times. 500 times. I probably didn't realize it. It's 4,000 shots over there, and the other one had uh, 1,500 and 1,500. And now these are burning out. It seemed like I've been using these guns more than 500 times, probably all seven and eight. I didn't realize it. Most of the way it's been the full auto, it's been. The Springfield Armory, and pretty much that's about it. I don't know. Anyway, wait a second. It just caught up to me. I just realized I'm using it more than I think I am. I actually burned out 4,000 shots in a month. That's kind of ridiculous. I didn't realize that 4,000 shots within a month. Hmm. So each gun is about four or 500 times or more. Yeah, the weather is getting cool now. Felt like 90 degrees or so. That's the reason why that probably that's why that Springfield Army got messed up. The heat was all over here, and the frame must have got hot. So the frame is like am what you call it, ambidextrous or something. It's plastic. It's metal up top. The frame must have got soft. But this one didn't mess up. This is a blowback. It was in the heat, so I decided that. Put both of them in, in the back seat so they could cool off. Can't believe this. Hold on a second. I think it's this one. Oh, man. Can't wait to go home. Anyway.
just went home and get something to eat and came back. Should have enough energy to go another hour. I don't care if it kills me, I'm gonna stay out here for a while. It's the only time of the week I could get a chance. Just checking that mic to see if it's stable. I don't want this cell phone to fall off. Yeah, let me finish this. Yeah, it's starting to soften up now. Yeah. I'm gonna go to that Daisy power line after this. After I finish that, um, what do you call that thing? That uh, Umax. I'm gonna shoot the Davis if I want. Yeah, it's starting to get weak. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like I got both of these at the same time from Amazon. Both of them came in the same box, the same package. They're both. I checked the reviews on both of them before I bought them because I learned my lesson the hard way. And now I found out this one had the most. This one they did complain about certain things like twice. But since I've been using it for months now, I haven't noticed anything minor. It's like... It's getting used 100%. It's like it's still in top 100% shape. For a gun that's kind of three weeks old, four weeks, three weeks, it looks like it's getting kind of old, but it's still it's still 100% top in top shape, man. notice any loose parts in the trigger or nothing but you can see where the paint's starting to wear off the trigger floats pretty good this one yeah you can see some paint wearing off on that other than that this one is in pretty good shape too yeah you see that See that fresh metal? Yeah, it's showing. It's still in perfect shape anyway. I guess I don't know. I'm going go with my feelings. I think I'll maybe I'll get a fresh Springfield armor and see if it's oh, you know what? Speaking of fresh one, I better ask um tech support if they can test it out, test everything out to make sure it works before I get another one. I forgot. Make sure the safety works in that one. Make sure, well, they usually test fire at first. They usually do that. But I'm going to try. I'm going to put a note in there. It's like, um, it's like I did the first time. Let's see what happened. Hold on a sec there. Shit. Got out. There we go. This thing is getting weak anyway. Alright, let me just hurry up. Alright, sorry about the wait. Let me try to hurry this up. Yeah. It's hitting slow now. This thing are playing leapfrog with me now. It's hitting real slow. Yeah, it's done. All right. I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm gonna do? Um, let me finish.
finish that one. I'm going to go to this one next. I think I'll go ahead and finish using this. Put a fresh CO2 so I can go home. And then use that. And then probably refresh both. Put a fresh one in this and go home. Because I got to walk through the neighborhood in the darkness. And get my mom back, back the car. Plus I got to go to the dentist tomorrow. Rest a couple of seconds. Yeah. It seems like this one is a little bit stronger. Oh, you heard that? Yes, I sure did. It sounded like you went somewhere up here and then did, did some kind of... Damn, that's cool. Oh, my goodness. And I'm shooting 30 feet and it actually came back that hard. Tell me them things could actually ricochet up in that tree up there. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, it pops open. All right. So, put some space up there. I guess I'm stuck with this one and that one. I heard that. Yeah, there it is. I found it. Hold up for a second. It came all the way back. I don't believe this. It came all the way from that can and then came right here. This is the second time. First time it must have hit somewhere up in this door hinge. And now it came. I can't believe this. It came back and even hit here one time. I 
Missed too many times, man. I would have had it. I can't believe this. Man, I tell you, these guns are something else. One time in Lord of the Lakes, I was shooting a 1911 Crossman arm. Non blowback, and I think I was shooting 70 feet. It came back and tapped me in the cheek, it tapped me on the eyebrow and the cheek. It felt like somebody threw a screwdriver and tapped me on the face. Nothing near like this. It felt like it felt pretty much like this touching my eyebrow and my cheek when one of these things actually came back. It ricocheted and touched me. It didn't hurt or anything, but it scared it scared me though. That was like back in 2015 though. Shit, I'm missing. I'm missing them shots and them. The CO2 is going to waste. Yeah, it's getting slow now. It's getting sluggish. Yeah, it popped open. It's getting sluggish. All right, soon I'm going to switch to that. Let me see where this... Maybe it's better if I just change it right now. I don't know. I'll go ahead and finish up those then. Since I got a couple more, actually I got about a couple of hundred more. So I got 6,000 more of these. I guess I'll just finish it. Trying to get this last one in. I'm gonna. Uh, never mind. Forget it. I ain't gonna worry about it. Hold up. Did I finish this one? Close. I guess I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up this one. Try this one, and see what happens. Yeah, it's slowing down. It's knocking it up. Yeah, one of them just land right there. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't that strong, but it knocked it off. See all them bugs flying up in here, man. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting cold. It's getting late. I don't know. I'm gonna go in a short while after this. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, you could say that one wasted. I'm gonna go ahead and reload these.
on the Should I hurry up with this? Should be able to go. I'm gonna try it without the blowback this time. It should be able to work pretty good. Yes, it does. This one is having it too easy. It's so easy to shoot. Wait a minute. Yeah. I got a little bit too impatient. There it is. It's having it way easy, man. It's shooting pretty, it's shooting like a breeze. Hold up. Yeah, now it's empty. You can tell by the way it sounds. I'm gonna try to blow back this time. I tried it to non blow back mode. <laughs> I don't really know nothing much about that. But, anyways, it did what it did. Get all that grease off of it. This thing <laughs> might be slightly out of style, but it's pretty intense, man. 
all of these both of these guns are pretty fun to shoot that one's kind of boring but it, it shoots pretty good it's been shooting accurate than this one though this one and that one's been shooting accurate Excuse me. Starting to sneeze out here. When the mosquitoes start coming out, I'm gonna put my jacket on. Damn. Drink some lemonade when I get home. Why is this thing taking so long? Should be done. Man. This gun right here is fun to shoot. I'm gonna stick with this one for the rest of the night. I'm done with those for the day, but I'm gonna save that for when I walk home from my mom's house. Oh yeah, I forgot. Put it in blowback mode. Hold on a second. If I can. I hope it did work. Watch this. There it is. It's in blowback mode. Yeah, it's in blowback mode. Tell you what, I'm gonna put the cell phone down real quick. I'm gonna put my jacket on. I'm gonna put my coat on because the mosquitoes coming out. Circle hold both of these guns in my pocket. So when it get dark, at least I got something to hold. best guns I got is this one this one and the other one and the night stalker as well well it's not here right now I just lost me another gun the Springfield army Kind of desperate to go home anyway. Decock. Let me see what this does. It should be in non blowback mode. Let me try it. Yes, it is. I see what it is. Decock it. Yeah, they made the gun like this, alright. Shoots much better and accurate. I like it in non blowback mode, it's much smoother. I 
Ah, shit. I hate when this thing does that. God. I hate it. I don't know. Forget it. I can't stand this. I can't brutalize my pistol like this. I'm gonna have to hold it. Kept hitting the street in a row, but I don't think it hit the job too good. another round. What is it? Three magazines? Yeah, look at that. Two shots. It's like throwing a hammer at it. I'm gonna stick with that Daisy power line for now. I'd say I'll go another two more CO2s, I guess. I don't know. It's starting to get a little shady and dark, but it's not that dark yet. It's still daylight. It's not dark enough for me to use a flashlight though. It's getting close. Yeah. I can't believe this. The way I feel about it, I think blowbacks are better than non-blowbacks. They say when it comes to non-blowback, that would be a best self-defense um, ear pistol. I said, it doesn't matter. 
they're both the same really it's more like the blowbacks can be a little bit better but yes it is true non-blowbacks are a little bit they're supposed to be more reliable but i'm not having any problems with the blowbacks yeah this is good man this is good i should have stayed with this gun for so long I'm gonna put them other two things to rest. put it on blowback mode it's probably going to use up a co2 anyway but i don't know what difference does it make you can hit the target much better that way maybe i would probably rapid fire it for change huh? let me see what i could do I think that's four magazine. Probably go on in a while. I'm just stick. Oh, it's an hour and 15 minutes. I think I better kill this video right now. Let me kill it right now and see what happens. Hold on for a second. 